going to show a scissor sweep counter. Uh, a lot of times, if Jason is putting me in a scissor sweep position, I'll lace my hands to sprawl out, bury my head, and walk around, etc. This is another option that's available. When the person goes for the scissor sweep here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to base this foot up here. Okay? Keep it out there, it's fine. Because all this is going to happen very quickly. My left hand, which is going to be here, I'm going to pull down so that I have enough room to bury my elbow down and push this leg. Then I'm going to pivot, which with the giant knee brace on my uh, left knee is not going to be very smooth, but I'm going to pivot my left knee this direction. Wait. <laughs> then I'm going to take my right leg and down on the inside of the knee. And end up in side control. Okay, one more time. Do it this way, maybe. Same idea. Here. Scissor. Base the foot up. Drive the elbow down. Pivot. Drive around. Control. Take the back. Or grab. Pull. Put him back. Pop your knee on stomach, etc. Okay. Again, has to be quick. The pivoting motion, I'm going to do on the right side real quick, just so you can see. I'm pivot on the left side. But as I'm here, I pivot my foot this way. Okay? I can move this foot, I can bring this one in, but I want to pivot, boom, then cutter, which again, I can't do with the MCO. Pivot, boom, then cutter, down across the knees. This hand is going to pull down so that I can control. Again, I'm posting the far leg, not the near leg, because if I post the inside leg, Jason's simply going to get his sweep. So last time, from here, boom. I'm here, pull my hand down far enough that my elbow, for some of you who have shorter arms, pull this arm down the knee lapel far enough that your elbow can reach the knee, post this foot, pivot, boom, drive this knee across, boom, here, head down, step with the left, once your weight is far enough over that side, boom, pull him back down, and nothing is not control. That's it.